I'm about to show you how to use a Gamma case study sales letter to pre-sale prospects, fill up the calendar, and one call close multiple prospects per week without hopping on unqualified calls, having to re-explain yourself multiple times per day to uneducated prospects, or having to justify your pricing. So this is going to be for B2B service-based businesses and high-ticket B2C coaches, freelancers, and also course creators. So I use this method to 3x the amount of calls I'm currently booking for my YouTube marketing agency. This is what a single day looked like after I launched this sales letter. So I had nine calls in a single day. But first, what even is a sales letter? It's a piece of writing that's designed to persuade the reader to take a specific action, which is usually just to purchase a product or service. In my case, it's a service. Sales letters can also be turned into a video form, which is where the term VSLs or video sales letter comes from. Now, what's a case study sales letter? Because it's a bit different. Basically, this is when you break down a specific result you got for a client. For example, I made one that has this headline, how I helped Daniel Fazio, cold email wizard, that's his nickname, add over 108,000 in new revenue revenue in 82 days using an automated content operating system without speaking into the void, communicating and managing multiple freelancers or waiting years for tangible results. Throughout the sales letter, I broke down the exact process I took in order to get my client the result I stated in the headline. So basically the whole gamma doc I created was just explaining step by step how I got this result. And the result was making him 100K okay off of youtube organic so i know what you're probably thinking that's great but how do people receive or even find the sales letter in the first place you need something called a funnel right this is a special type of website that has multiple steps so i'm going to show you what this looks like in real time so basically you're going to have an opt-in page this is the first step and i'll show you right now basically this is my website tickscale.net and then you click here, get access, right? So this is step one of the funnel. You gotta put in your information here. So once they fill in their information, they're gonna hit get access now. And then once they click it, it's gonna load. And then now this is the second step in the funnel, which is the assets. So this is where you embed the video of yourself reading the doc. You'll also have a book a call button below the video. So let me just show you what that looks like. Basically I have a headline, I have my video, and then I have a book a call button. Additionally, you'll email them access to the asset in a document form. And real quick, just to show you guys what this document looked like on my end, basically I had the headline, subheadline, and then I had proof. So don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to structure this entire document. Like I literally used this to book 30 sales calls in the span of like two weeks which is a three X of what I usually get. After the asset, there's gonna be a thank you page. So in order to access the thank you page, they're gonna to have to actually book a call. So hit this book a call button, book the call, and then they'll be able to get it. So I already showed you guys a live example, opt-in, and then you have the VSL plus book a call, and then there's a call confirmation. This is what the confirmation page looks like, super simple, appointment book, check your email for the calendar invite, and before you go, make sure you watch the video below. So once they opt into the funnel, they receive an email with the gigantic sales letter, which is this one that I wrote, right? It's gigantic. Yours doesn't have to be this long. If I transferred this onto a Google doc, it would literally be equivalent to 84 pages. I even marketed it as a 75 page doc, just so I don't scare everyone away. But basically after they opt in, they're getting an email with access to this document. And after they get this email with this document, they're gonna get hit with three more emails. So first is gonna be the doc in video form. And then this is basically just a video of yourself reading the document, which is the exact same one you would have here on your website. And then email number three is gonna be social proof. So this is gonna be literally just interviews on interviews on interviews, which is basically what I have here on my website. So you just take these client interviews and just put them in your email. And then finally email four, what you're gonna do is take your entire gamma doc case study sales letter and summarize it and just trim the fat so that it's a bit shorter and easier to read and just paste it into your email and format it properly. So in case you guys can't already tell, what we're doing is just making the prospect read this gamma doc case study sales letter by any means necessary. So we're literally hitting them with a stack of four emails just so they consume this sales letter because I already know if somebody is a good fit and they read this sales letter, they're gonna want to buy my service. So logically, I should do whatever I can to make them read it. And that's what we're doing with this email sequence. 
So let me talk about why this funnel works so well and why you need to use Gamma specifically. And I literally mean you need to use Gamma. I see some people using Google Docs and it does not work. As soon as I switch from using Google Docs to Gamma for these types of presentations or sales letters, it works way, way better. Here's the first reason. Everybody is a visual learner. Okay, nobody likes looking at a boring Google Doc for 10 plus minutes. With Gamma, you can use headers, visuals, graphics, and a ton of different features to make your doc engaging instead of boring. This is extremely important. I know you're probably thinking that it doesn't matter if a doc is pretty or not, but here's why it's very important. If your watch time goes from 10% to 20%, that is quite literally doubling the amount of minutes that your VSL is being consumed, which will also double the amount of sales calls you're booking. Here's the second reason why you need to use Gamma. It's mobile friendly. So opening Google Docs on your phone is not a satisfying experience. You wanna just click off right away, right? But by using Gamma, you'll ensure that the 60% of the earth that prefers to use their mobile phone over the computers will have a satisfying reading experience. So I Googled this stat, basically 60% of people, they'd rather just scroll the internet on their phone rather than using a computer, right? If people read X percent more of your sales letter, you will get an X percent increase in calls booked there's a higher chance of them reading more of the letter if it's a satisfying reading experience, which is why Gamma works so well. Here's how you're gonna structure your case study. First things first, you need a big headline slash introduction. So this is what that looks like in action. This is my headline, okay? And next, you're also gonna need a sub headline. Usually you wanna state the point A and the point B that your client went through and what kind of result they got. And then you'll also want to state the time frame. I did it slightly different here, but that's typically the route you wanna to go towards. And the reason why we do a headline in the first place is to hook people in. And then what we're doing in the sub headline is addressing objections. So everybody wants to be on YouTube, right? But nobody wants to manage multiple freelancers, you know, communicate with a big team or waiting years for tangible results, right? So that's when I hop in and I literally just take over everything and my client just has to record. So what you're seeing here in this sub headline is literally what people told me on sales calls. And I took that information and I put it in the sub headline. So one common thing I was hearing in the exact syntax was without speaking into the void. Like basically they wanted to make YouTube videos without feeling like they're talking to no one, right? So I took those exact words and I put them in the sales letter and it did really, really good. Quick tip here, you wanna make sure your headline is based on actual results and that it also captures attention, right? It's not every day you see somebody generate 108K from YouTube organic in 82 days. So that's why a lot of people got this. Right after your headline, you'll wanna have proof, okay? So basically this is what that looks like in action, proof. I literally said for proof. Check out the interview here. Like this is indisputable. Nobody can watch this video and say, oh, this is fake, something like that. No, I literally have Daniel, who is a reputable figure in my industry saying, hey, Eamon made me 108K. The best type of proof is a client interview. The second best is a video testimonial. And the third best would be some sort of written testimonial. After that, you wanna qualify and disqualify. So basically we're gonna say, hey, you know, this document, this is intended for service-based businesses. Kind of like what I did at the start of this video. And you'll also want to say that, hey, if you are X, Y, or Z type of person, this is not for you. So for example, I could have said, hey, if you're a dentist, a local business, somebody with no case studies, this document is not for you. So the next part is a backstory. This is actually optional, but you want to keep it short if you do it. So what I did is I said, hey, I've been posting on YouTube since 2014. Even though it wasn't consistently, that still just puts credibility with my name. After the backstory, if you decided to put it in, comes the process. So this is gonna be the bulk of your document. So basically what you're gonna do here is say, hey, step one, we did this. Step two, we did this. Step three, we did this. In my case, I was like, hey, step one, once the client was onboarded, you know, we used keyword research tools to find content ideas. Step two, we scripted them out. We used this framework. Step three, we did this, this, that, et cetera, et cetera. I won't go too in depth just to bore you guys, but basically you wanna walk people through the exact process that you took your client through to get them to point B the result. After the process comes the summary. You basically just wanna review everything you just went over and make it insanely condensed so that it's easy to read. And overall, we're just trying to help people wrap up their thoughts. And then comes the final thoughts or offer section. What we're doing here is just saying our final thoughts overall on what you just went over inside of the case study. For example, you could say, you know, everybody thinks making money from YouTube is easy, but it's actually insanely difficult something like that, like just wrap it up. And then after that comes the offer. You're gonna say, hey, if you're a B2B service-based business or a high ticket B2C coach, I could get you 10 to 30 qualified calls every single month or you don't pay through YouTube organic. Like you basically just say your offer and what you can get them, attach a guarantee on it if you can. And that's pretty much it. That's the whole case study in the structure. But here's how you record your case study in a video format. You basically just wanna do exactly what I'm doing right now. I have my face on the left and I gamma doc on the right. So this is one of my clients, Daniel Fazio, 
face on the left, gamma doc on the right. So to do this, you're gonna to wanna to use OBS, right? That's what I'm using right now. The URL is obsproject.com. I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. And alternatively, you can use Screen Studio. So if you're on a Mac, this is a good software. It's super easy to set up. OBS is slightly tacky, but it's not that bad. The downside of Screen Studio is that you don't actually have as much flexibility as OBS. So for example, you won't be able to get this screen set up I have right now. Your face is gonna be stuck on the bottom left or the bottom right. But here's the most important part. I'm about to show you how to drive traffic to your sales letter. Cause you can do all this stuff, make your funnel, make your gamma doc, you know, make it 75 pages long like I did. But if you can't drive traffic, you're not gonna make any return on your time that you spent creating this gamma doc. So like at this point, you created the funnel, the asset and the email flows, but you just need traffic. It's the last piece in the puzzle that people struggle with. But here's the best methods to drive traffic. So number one is just post a video of you reading the gamma doc on YouTube. You're going to want to make sure you have a good thumbnail and also your search engine optimizing the YouTube video. And number two, you're going to want to post an auto DM on Twitter. So here's the structure. You're going to start off with a hook and usually the hook should come in a form of an accomplishment and you really want to use numbers. So for example, what I did is I said, I added 108K in new revenue for Daniel Fazio and Klein Ascension in just 82 days using my organic YouTube acquisition system. That's it, that's the hook, right? And next is gonna be what will prospects get by engaging with this tweet? So you're gonna say, I just made a 75 page doc that details the exact process you can follow to sign clients from YouTube organic. Simple, I'm telling them, hey, what are you gonna get if you comment 75, which is the next part? you're gonna get this asset in your inbox. And then next comes the part that says comment 75 and I'll auto DM it to you. So this is just telling the prospect like, what do you have to do in order to receive the doc in your Twitter DM? In order to do this, you'll wanna use a software called Hype Fury to automatically send the funnel to anyone who engaged with the asset. So basically whenever people comment 75, I'm just sending them automatically through Hype Fury. I don't have to lift a finger. They're getting a link to my funnel, tickscale.net, and then they're gonna to have to opt in to get the asset and then from there, they get hit with the emails, the retargeting, et cetera. The third way is to email it to your email list. So you'll wanna essentially just blast an email to your list with a direct link to the Gamma Doc. Since you already have their contact info, there's no point in asking for them to type their info in again. The fourth method is gonna to be to infinitely retweet the video on Twitter. So you can actually just take the video and upload it to Twitter. As long as you have a Twitter Blue subscription, you'll be able to upload long formatted videos. And then you're gonna go in Hype Fury and add it to your content calendar where it'll be infinitely retweeted at the same day on the exact same time. You can also mix it up a bit and make the time vary. Only a certain percentage of your following gets to see your tweets. So by infinitely retweeting it, more people will see it. The fifth method is gonna be posting it on LinkedIn, Instagram, and really any platform you have an account on. You'll wanna use a similar structure to the auto DM. So really just hook them in, tell them what they'll get and tell them how to get it, super simple. And finally, you'll also just wanna post it wherever your ICP is. ICP is your ideal customer profile. So basically like think of Facebook groups, Reddit communities, really just think outside of the box. Not everyone's on Twitter or Instagram. You might have to venture out to places like Reddit, Discord groups, Facebook groups, just really get creative with it because I guarantee you your competitors are just posting it on YouTube or just posting it on Twitter. They're not going the extra mile into these groups. Okay, cool, you got opt-ins, now what? Call the leads. Once someone opts in, you'll have their name, email, and phone number, so make sure to give them a call. In order to get the best results, you need to call opt-ins within the first 10 minutes of them opting in. In terms of your script, you wanna start off by blatantly telling them the reason why you're calling and give them an option to hang up. Basically, once the prospect picks up the phone, you're gonna tell them the reason why you're calling them is because they opted in to receive the doc and just say who you are. So like, my name is Eamon. And then you wanna ask them if they read the asset. And then from there, if they did, just ask them what they thought of it. And then if they didn't, just say no big deal. And basically what you'll proceed to do is qualify them. You need to figure out, are they a good fit for your service and do they deserve time on your calendar? And if they do qualify, basically just sell them on jumping on a call with you to discuss further. Remember, we're selling the meeting, not the product. Once you get them on a proper Zoom call, then you can sell the product. So guys, if you haven't created your free Gamma account, what are you waiting for? You wanna hit the first link in the description to use Gamma for free. It's literally free forever. There's no free trial, nothing like that. It's literally just free. So stop writing sales letters on Google Docs and start using Gamma for your marketing and you will make more money and get more leads. So that's everything for this video. Make sure to subscribe to Gamma's YouTube channel because we're gonna be posting tons of content over these next few months. And that's it, hope you have a good one, peace.